Hello and welcome to Looky Looky Loo Crafts. I'm Candace and today's intro sign was created by Nona Grace. Thank you, Nona Grace. Okay guys, I'm just here checking in with everybody. I haven't been around. Uh, <clears throat> some family issues happening and uh, you know, I'm still kind of tender in my back. I can't move uh, for very long at a time still working on that so yeah but it's the day before mother's day and my son mitchell made it home for mother's day and he's taking me to the races again tomorrow Whew. this year i'm taking my walker uh, there's no way that i can try to walk all that way and uh yeah, so he's here. He he ran out to get us something to eat. And I forgot to put my um my bandage on my arm. So let me see if I can reach it. Well, I can drop everything. <laughs> so I can't seem to reach it. <clears throat> Wonder what I did with it. Well, it's not where it was supposed to be. Well, you'll just have to look at it. I'm sorry. So, anyways, he's cleaning out his room, so I'm getting some garbage. So I got this real pretty orange box. Look at that, it's orange. I ain't even gotta cover it. It's just already orange. So, uh, we're looking for a lid. Uh maybe I have a lid. If you don't have a lid, I'll find a piece of paper. And just make a, a, a lid for it. So that's awesome. I got me a new little box. That he gave me. And. I got this thing. It's kind of dirty. I got to clean it up. But it's a. A weird looking thing. It's not exactly an octagon. But I thought if nothing else. I could uh, use it as a template for something. But it, it, it rolls around. And it makes like a a crown. I don't know if anybody has any ideas uh, uh, on how I could use something like this. There must be a use for something so cool. I gotta uh, uh, wipe it off though. But anyway, I, I'm getting garbage since he's cleaning up his room. <laughs> garbage is always good, right ladies? <laughs> so you can figure out what to do with it. <coughs> so... Also, what I got was this uh, speaker box that he gave me, and uh, he used it when he was in the, uh, um, oh shoot, when he was a mechanic, he, he used it in the shop, and it uh, got broke, so it's got a boo-boo. So, it still works, so I get to have it, because it has a boo-boo. <laughs> so, that is awesome. And it really works, and sometimes I have trouble hearing people's uh, videos. It ain't quite charged yet, so i got to leave that in there. And, uh, oh, uh, I got a little piece dropped off. I'm going to glue that back on and put it up there. But anyway, I'm so happy to have it, because... Uh, Sometimes I have trouble hearing, and this is a really good speaker, and it's magnetic. If I had a magnetic something, I could stick it on there. So, that's awesome. That's a new gizmo I get to play with. Let me try to put that back in there. Uh, it, the charger doesn't want to stay in there. I'll have to put a piece of tape on it or something, give it just a little bit of extra... Also, he gave me this thing. Well, he didn't give me this thing. I got to look at this thing. <laughs> and uh, so this is a, a little kit that he has. And I can have it to use. I can't have it to, to it be mine. It's just for, for using. <laughs> for borrowing. How about that? I can borrow. I'm trying to get my little light over there. So everyone can see, and I thought it was a really cool little kit, and uh, it's a really nice one too. So, uh, 
I don't know where he got any of this from. I'm going to say from the Snap It truck. You know, th that truck that goes around and sells stuff to mechanics. But it's got all these little bits in it. And I do have my daddy's Dremel. If, you know, if I needed it. But it has this little hand. Uh, a holder that, that you put your little bits in. And I don't know that I need it. But if I wanted to put a little screw in something, I got all kind of little bits. I think this one is a star or something. And uh, so I thought, well, that would be handy just to have in case you need something to use it for something. Anyway, he's letting me use it. So there we go. Uh, it has this, uh, these little, like, guitar picks. They're not guitar picks, but they're just little plastic things. And uh, he says you just use them, and, like, if something gets stuck in a groove, you stick it in there, and you can pop it out. And that's what he uses them for. So I don't know exactly what they are, but there's three or four of them in there. And it's got this really nice pair of tweezers. They're awesome. And, and I do have a pair of tweezers, but, and, you know, I got them from Dollar Tree. But this is like a professional pair, if I can get them out. Well, I can't get it out. Maybe I can get this thing out. And this is like a little scrapey thing. And, uh, so, that might be handy. I don't know. I'm going to try to get my tweezers out with it. Yep, look at there. Little pry bar. But these are, are really heavy duty tweezers and they're really pointy so you gotta be careful with them but uh yeah i think that's a really good pair and it feels good as the stanchel in my hand uh the pair i have are kind of flimsy and, and they don't feel there's no really weight to them so anyway he got he let me use this little kit i didn't even know he had it he just he's cleaning up his room i thought i might could use it so that's awesome, ain't it? Now, how did it go in there? I'll put it in like that. I don't know if that's how it went. So, got this little scrapey thing. <clears throat> and this is, in case I want to hang something up, it's a little suction cup hanger. and You just put it there and you can temporarily hang something. So that's awesome too, and and this is some kind of little blade. Oh, again, this ain't mine. It's just mine to use if I need it. So this is some kind of sharp little knife that you could use. Now I haven't used any of it. I don't know if any of it's any good, but it feels, you know, like it might be. I don't know how you change the blade in that, and it's not all that sharp compared to your your uh, box cutters. But he goes for this little set, so that's kind of cute. So some of it I may occasionally use, and some may not. Uh, let's see what I okay. I got the tweezers, got the scrapey thing. That, that oh, this is a like a it's like a cuticle stick. Only it's plastic. It's got a real sharp point here. And it's got the flat side on here. It's not for cuticles. And it's got a little. Uh, a little spot in it. Right there. Y'all see that little spot. And I guess that's for. Uh, like. Holding a string. Or cutting. Or, or something. You know. I, I'm thinking like a, a needle threader. That has the little cutter. But I don't see a blade in it. But I don't know what it's for. But it's got a real pointy end. And a little flat end. So. That might be useful in crafting anyway. That's what he said. And I thought well shoot. All these little gadgets might be. Handy in some kind of crafting. So. Yay. I get to hang on to it. And play with it. You know if ever I need to. And let's see. It comes in this nice little case. And it has a magnetic closure. It has all the, the book with it and everything. So I haven't had a chance to look through that yet. And so there. Yeah. 
That's awesome to have my son home. And I got extra goodies to play with. So, yeah, that's awesome. It's always nice to get uh, new toys. Oh, well, even if I'm borrowing them. <laughs> so, yeah. So, tomorrow is the day for I'm going back to the races. I'll, I'll try to get a little video or something uh, of, of, of the races. And uh, so, last year I had a great time just spending a happy day with my son. It's not that I love the races or anything, but, you know, it is a nice outing. And uh, we had a good time together. And it's always just to enjoy some life a little is, is wonderful. So... Yeah, he's home for Mother's Day. Whoop! My chair snapped. <laughs> the little bar that holds it up straight uh, sometimes comes out. Sorry about that. So, I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of tender in my back. So, let's hope. He did get seats down lower this time. <laughs> so, I won't have to climb up <laughs> all those stairs. Oh, I did make it last year, though. Yeah, so kudos for me. But I, I'm sure I couldn't make it this year. Well, I could, but I would just be slow. It, w it would take me a, three or four times as long to get up there. But anyway, he got seats down lower, and they're on the, the end aisle. So, yeah, that's good in case I have to make an emergency bathroom. Uh I was going to say run, but I can't run, so it'll be a mosey. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm happy he's home, and he's got his big truck right outside and parked in front of my house. So, I might get him to get a picture of that to, uh, you know, put in one of my videos so y'all can see it sometime. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, he don't have a trailer. It's just his, his truck. He called, he calls that bobtailing. So, he bobtailed here. And, uh, so, it's going to be fun. Next couple of days, he'll be here till Wednesday, I think. Tuesday or Wednesday. So, yeah, that's always good for me. I'm happy to have him home. It's going to be a great Mother's Day. And I certainly wish everyone out there a wonderful lovely mother's day and uh, i hope everybody has a good time and you get to spend some time with your children and yes let us know what you're doing for your mother's day if anything i mean you know but sometimes you know you just got to be happy with a phone call or a card <laughs> you know so yeah at least they remember you if that's uh they can't come and see you uh, and uh it takes happiness in that all right, guys. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a lovely comment. And as always, do as the Lord will have you to do. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye now. <laughs>